everyone to another review in the Cinema Film Marathon and today we'll be looking at Wings on Masters of Cinema. This is another fantastic release from Masters of Cinema and as for the film, wow, just wow. This is definitely one of my favourite silent films now and one of my favourite Masters of Cinema releases for the great bonus content in there. But this begged the question, why the hell had I not seen this film before? Uh, no idea. I, I had heard of the film just a little. I only heard of the name in a list. Didn't see images or anything. I just seen the name of the film. That's the only way I knew this film. And then I noticed Masters of Cinema had a film called Wings. And it looked kind of interesting by the poster. And I noticed it came out in 27. And it was the first ever film to win an Academy Award in 1927-1928. Getting Best Picture. So definitely that intrigued me. And I went to watch it. And I am glad I did because this is honestly one of my favourite films of all time now and let's get into why. So the film is basically about two best friends, two very close friends, uh, Jack and David, um, who end up enlisting into World War One, where they end up becoming aviators. And from here we see these two friends going through this experience together and also we see the love triangle that's kind of there as well with the girl next door, Mary played by Clara Bow and from here it just basically looks at the war going on, the friendship, the, the romance and yeah this is great story, it's a very great story setup. The thing that makes this a really incredible film and a reason every person who has enjoyed a movie should watch it, not just because it's best, the first best picture winner but the visual effects and the special effects in it are absolutely fantastic, absolutely amazing for the time. And it still makes me think, how the hell did they do that back then? Because it's, it would even be a challenge today, so thinking of how they've done it back then is just... That's crazy. But basically there's shots uh, of the fighting, the dog fighting in the air. And we have shots from the plane perspective, uh, plane point of view. And this isn't a green screen backdrop or anything. The camera was literally tied on to the the plane and they use that to get the actor's face. This is the thing that is even more impressive. You would think there would be stunt doubles which there would have been for a few of the scenes but uh, the actors uh, Charles Rogers and Richard Arlen both uh, learned to fly a plane for, for real so whenever we see the shots of them in the sky that's real so imagine acting at the same time as being in a plane, flying it, and the thing was that he, they didn't even practice for that long. Uh, they got like six hours training or something, and before they knew it, they were in the sky flying. So that that is impressive. Uh, apparently, the actors were throwing up. Uh, uh, Charles Rogers was throwing up, but he still stuck to it, and that's real dedication to acting and portraying a character in a film and it definitely pays off whenever you see a film like this being made and that, that's what it does, it sh Wings shows what real effort can bring to making something whether it's a film or a TV show or a video and uh, it all comes together, it all pays off and the Wings is just incredible, the shots uh, when we're seeing uh, David, David and Jack in the sky, it's just amazing to see. One of the reasons I think the film holds up so well is for its realism that it has because in some of the fight scenes, or not fight scenes, sorry, some of the war scenes we see the uh, on the battlefield, it looks great, very gritty, realistic and that's how I would imagine the war at the time in my head. Um, and the reason I think the film captured such a real realism was because William A. Wellman had previously been in the army as an aviator or a soldier I think uh, in the first world war himself so he had all his life experience before him so it almost came second nature to him to make a film like this and really bring something to it so y you could probably see how he was bringing in his own experiences of the war into the film making something truly uh, more realistic and more accurate and true to life there's a terrific shot there of one of the scenes on the battlefield again the, the scope you know it's it's a ho very hollywood thing when we think of it, when we think of this film that won an oscar you know it's almost like 
every film that wins an Oscar has some traits that it's the kind of thing in Wings that Oscar contenders look for, you know, films of heartfelt relationships, friendship, uh, films with happy endings that leave you high spirited, you know, films like that are usually ones that win the best picture of the film. I know Twelve Years a Slave this year and last year was quite a, a sad film, but there are there's those traits that seem very Hollywood, you know, Hollywood tropes that win awards. Um, I, the poem made no sense. I hope it did. If you think it did, okay. But moving on, yes, he had been in the army, so yes, that does definitely create the realism. And what what came to mind whenever I've seen some of the battle battlefield scenes is this is long before Saving Private Ryan which is very famous for its realism this is before Saving Private Ryan, uh, Apocalypse Now, The Deer Hunter all those great films about war uh, that capture it in a very gritty realistic way you know this is almost like a precursor not many films at the time had been made about the first world war it's fairly recent history you know that's only 10 years after that war had ended uh, nine or ten years after that war ended so you know it would have been very fresh in viewers minds and i think that's probably where it gets its uh would have got its impact at the time and it, it still hasn't lost its impact because this is a fantastic film definitely works very well emotionally the acting is absolutely brilliant in it i love all the characters in it uh gary cooper makes a small appearance too this is his first role i think i don't know much about gary cooper but if, if you if you know you know, there's a fun fact for you. This is Gary Cooper's first film. He appears in a brief scene. As for the friendship of the film, I think that's one of the most powerful things in the film. It makes it hold up so well. And it's really a brothers in arms story whenever we come to the end. And it's, it really is a touching relationship to see on screen. It's one of the most powerful relationships I've seen in a film of two friends or two characters who like each other very much. You know, the friendship was so powerful. It almost looked like it was verging on uh, homosexual I would say I don't mean that in any offensive way at all but it's that's how close these two friends were to each other in the film and you know you can see how much it means to each other to be friends you know and that's that's something I think everyone can relate to whether it's in a war or anywhere else I haven't read through the booklet yet but I love the artwork that's in it this image you know whenever you look at it now after seeing the film becomes much more relevant when you look at it very powerful moment in the film. Um, I just noticed that there's actually that, that looks like a cross there. You know that's kind of symbolic when you think about it. So yeah, and nice artwork on the front as well. I also I love this poster too. That's that really drew, drew me to the film, and I hope it draws some more people to the film too. Um, there's nice images in here. I haven't read through it. There's interviews, and there's some screenshots, uh, maybe stills. Uh, there's some movie stills here. Yeah, great amigos in there. Look forward to having read through this. What's on the disc is what I like a lot about this Master of Cinema release. And also there's the inset work in there too. I think the discs, you know, it's, yes, it's a dual format edition. As, anyway, as I was saying there, uh, the special features on this are really, really good. I, I really like this one. I didn't watch the one on dog fighting, but I watched the the one on restoring the film and basically all about the film and the impact that it had. It was fascinating to learn all the stuff about the production. Uh, I wouldn't have guessed that loads of those scenes were real whenever... Uh, that was shot in the plane you know I did think it was quite well done so I guess I should have known that it had to be real but thinking about the date of the film you know I wouldn't have imagined such a thing happening and yeah it was very interesting to see behind the scenes of that the film also comes with uh, optional scores two different ones one by J.S. Zemeknik Zemeknik excuse me if I said his name wrong and one by Gaylord Carter I think I watched that first one by JS. I'm not sure. It was the first one in the option list. But it was, I really enjoyed the music as well, which definitely anchored the film, as most music for sound films does, which is good. This is truly a great film, and I'm so happy that Master Cinema released it. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have seen it uh, yet. 
And yeah, this is one of my favourite finds in the style of Vermont run so far. Absolutely astounding film, and it's one I can see myself re-watching, and that's what you want uh, with a good a movie, silent film, any film at all, really. Uh, so yes, excellent Masters of Sin release. Highly recommend this one. So, yep, that's Wings. 1927, directed by William A. Wellman. Well, that's this video today, everybody. Stay tuned for some more uploads. I'll be getting to that Captain Geeston one very soon. And there will be a top favourite sound films list uh, in no time. So, thanks for joining everyone. Be sure to comment and subscribe if you want. Always appreciate it. And if you've seen the film, I'd like to hear your thoughts on it too. So, until next time, everybody. I'll see you then.